Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. You know, the governor and I are concerned, as is all GovGum employees, about the future of the budget and how much money uh, will be available for the appropriations. Over the past week, lawmakers have met in the Committee of the Whole, going section by section of the substitute budget bill 250 on session floor. And today, Acting Governor Ray Tenorio met with Appropriations Chairman Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz and Minority Leaders Senator Tony Atta and Brad McCready to discuss some concerns. Um, but we also need to make sure that the authority for the governor to use the funds that we anticipate will be generated um, based on all the projections we've provided to the legislature are, you know, taken into consideration. Uh, transfer authorities are necessary to be able to meet uh, ends. Uh, going from agency to agency um, on a case-by-case -case basis. The substitute version as part of Cruz's cut cap and balance plan cuts nearly $60 million from the governor's original proposal. His bill lowers the cap on Gov Guam's debt ceiling and commits to a balanced budget based on conservative revenue estimates and expenditures. Tenorio says part of the focus of today's meeting was the transfer authority for the governor. Yes, but the appropriation authority for the governor to use transfer authority to make up shortfalls in the example of um, the retirees, for example, their medical, dental and life uh, premiums have to be made up for. As we reported, the Department of Administration had exhausted its appropriation levels to pay for its contribution for medical, dental and life insurance for retirees. Gov Guam has been behind on payments since the month of May. The new budget bill would provide about $30 million for retiree insurance for fiscal year 2017, along with a $10 million transfer authority to address FY 2016 expenses. So we need to be responsible. Uh, we need to make sure that we're accountable and transparent. Um, but the legislature also needs to make sure that they're pulling from a source that actually has funds or anticipates funds. And in this case, it doesn't. Adeloup in a release last week noted while the budget bill proposed using Section 2718 funds or health insurance reimbursements as a funding source, history has shown that Gov Guam rarely receives a reimbursement because it's not overpaying. In the meantime, as lawmakers prepare to vote on the budget bill, Tenorio says there is still concern that cuts to the departments may still trigger furloughs of current staff. About hurting the people of Guam, nobody wants to see anybody lose their job. Nobody says furloughs likely. Today, Senator Tony Atta introduced an amendment to remove restrictions on transfer authority for the governor. He says this would allow the governor to address shortfalls and provide better cash management to the agencies. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.